Hey, hey, how you doing today? Man, y'all hear the train, that train in the background, messing up my video. But anyway, man, we out here today. Hold on. In Riverside, right next, right next to downtown Jacksonville. All right. So anyway, this home behind me was built in 1925, and we about to see what 1925 has to offer. Of course. This isn't one of those newer homes. Just drive on by, mess up the video. Thank you very much. But this ain't one of them newer homes, you know, cookie cutter or whatnot. They come with nothing. This is uh, not that busy of a street. But, um, you know, it is around about the time people get off work. So excuse the through traffic for now. And it's really not through traffic. It's just that this time of day. And this is, uh, probably around about uh five o'clock so anyway man this intro is going a lot longer than what i anticipated but i'm gonna tell y'all one more thing real quick um are you done one more thing real quick about riverside like if you're an out-of-towner like me i'm from memphis uh whenever i pass through downtown like as close as river city is to downtown i still thought that that was considered downtown but that is not the case so this home once again is located in river city and without further ado, we're about to take a look at it. But before we do, I got to give a huge shout out to Sherilyn Walker. This is her listing. And Sherilyn, I appreciate you for letting me show this property. All right, y'all, check it out, check it out. Take a look, take a look. Look at all this frontage. So if you need to use the street for parking, say like if you're having an event or something like that, this property right here has plenty of frontage to do that. But this driveway goes not only from the front of the house but it runs all the way to the very back fence in the backyard that by my eye you're looking at a driveway long enough to fit probably six to eight full-size suvs or pickup trucks anyway let's look at this lawn lushes and green saint augustine grass just in case you're wondering what type of grass that is look at this historic tree okay so these older homes uh they did have the power lines running like this so nothing to worry about there that uh works just fine space between the neighbors i don't think i need to say anymore this was built in 1925 back when your piece of land was your piece of land front porch landscaping okay look at all this space now that neighbor's side lot is huge, so he ain't right all, he ain't all up on him or them. They're not all up on you. So this property, because as you can see, an actual wood burning fireplace, a real porch. I'm surprised they ain't got no rocking chairs out here to take you back to nostalgia. Check out this mailbox, old school style. And you got the keypad or the key lock on it. You got that uh, screen dope. That's nice. Cause you might just want the breeze to come through so you can open this little top part. You got the screen on it. Y'all know how I feel about my screens. Look at your window shutters. shutters. You get power. That may not have been an option back in 25, 1925 that is. Of course you get a couple of steps leading up to this property. So let's turn around and go on and go inside. As you enter this property, that's right, carpet flooring. To your right is the first bedroom. And to my left is the den or family room area. For you, nice and wide, you can fit whatever type of decoration. As long as it's not too massive, you don't want to take up too much of your hallway real estate. First bedroom, carpeted floor. And see with these older homes like this, some of the rooms were bigger. Look at these, look how thick these uh, casings are around your archways. Look how high your baseboards are. Those to me look to be about eight inches tall. And then check out this fireplace. Like I said, this is wood burning. That's the real deal. Okay. 
windows letting in natural light, family room area, and then look straight ahead, dining room. Got that chandelier up there looking, mm, all right. Window letting in natural light, of course. And then look, they got the original, the OG hardwood floors. That's the OG style right there. Then over here, we got the uh, first bathroom. And it's a full bath, my bad, that toilet is up. We're not gonna go all the way up in there. I don't know how that got up, I let it down earlier. Texture in your ceiling. Here's another bedroom. Check that out. Your character style is different in a home like this. Here's your next bedroom. So back then, split floor plan, I don't even think was a thing. So that's the way this is. Now, of course, you know, back in 1926, more than likely, or 1925, more than likely there was not a center island option available, but this home has been upgraded. You got the, uh, Solid surface countertops. I want to say that they're granite, but I don't want to say the wrong thing. Center island, and man, look at all the space between the center island and the other countertops. Let me come over here. Excuse the dishes in the sink there. Look at that, plenty of space. So if you want to go from the microwave to the center island, you're gonna to have to take a few steps. Then you got this little area over here, some backsplash going on, more storage. And then we're gonna head downstairs into the den. You know, that's a term that some of y'all might not be used to. That might be new to you, den, you know what I'm saying? So down here, this is a nice little area. You know, your uh, teenagers can hang out back here. Spacious, you got a closet back there, but there is no door up there, so I wouldn't qualify this one as a bedroom, at least in this current state. Now you could convert it if you wanted to, and check this out, this is a full bath. Full bath. Plenty of spaces. Tile flooring, different style of hardwood down here. This is more of your, you know, your newer style tile. Probably like the uh, life proof. But anyway, if you guys can give me just a second, we are about to check out the back patio, backyard, and we're gonna wrap this 1925 tour up. And we are back. So, once again, this seems to be an upgrade to what was offered back in 1925. Look at this. Screen in Lanai, yes sir. So, let's pan around. And this is a good size screen in Lanai. I mean, you got some walking around room up in here. Come on, man. And then look, here go that driveway, right? I tell y'all, it run all the way to the back fence. Y'all think I'm playing. Look, privacy fence. I can eyeball that. That's taller than me right there. But look, look at that. You see the, you see where the fence coming up at, right? You got like maybe 12 to 24 inches away from that fence back there as far as how far this driveway goes back. Let me look over my shoulder. All right, so I'm about to turn around to show you guys how long this driveway is. Look at that. Man. Fine, come on. Then they got the above ground pool. You know, that's pretty cool. They got the deck over there looking good. Man, you gonna love that. And then look, you get two storage sheds. Two of them bad boys. Two storage sheds, a little bit of landscaping, privacy fencing all the way around. This is what's up. This is what's up. gonna step up here on this little uh little platform you know i would jump in but you know i don't want y'all making fun of me and my video going viral for the wrong reason I like the height up here man look at that water right there that's cool so in other words a property like this man you got freedom to pretty much come up with whatever you know floats your boat very nice 
1925. What y'all think about this house? All right, let me try to make my way down these steps before I, uh, I don't wanna fall down the steps trying to finish out this video. But I think this is a pretty solid house. Whoever get it is gonna be blessed. I mean, you get, you get generous square footage. You know, you get a decent amount of rooms. You get those uh, two full bathrooms. You know, kitchen is updated for the age that the house was built in. I'm looking at the roof. The roof looks like it's in good condition. Don't quote me on the age. I know it's not a 30 because I can tell by the type of shingles it has. But anyway, if y'all interested, y'all already know what to do. I'm gonna link Sharon information in the description below. Other than that, this has been another episode of Quick Tour. I thank y'all for watching. Take care and be blessed.